Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. We're doing an art journal page today. This is going to be a little, little mixed media, a little, uh, little maybe hint in here for those of you who are beginning in art journaling. And this can be used, of course, on your ATCs, on your canvases. Uh, I love flat canvases because they're easier for me to work on. However, for some reason, I went on a binge and um, I just cleaned downstairs and found all my canvases that I've bought, which are regular canvases, not flat, of course. So what we're going to start with is just my art journal page, um, my art journal book, rather, and picking a page. And I am going to add, uh, it could be printer paper. You know, this is kind of boring to me. Um, so I'm going to put that here and maybe we'll get some good uh, print. And in the meantime... It will save the last page Move back just a little bit here. And then I need another, it's like I don't have paper around me. Why? I have so much paper around me and I never can find any. Am I the only one? I probably am. I'm probably the only one. Okay. This is a page, a page I used where I pat it off just going to put that there. And this is where we're working. Obviously right now it's white. Don't worry about it. So we're going to add some background and I believe I want to use this if I could get it out. Okay. Come on, baby. And this is just a stencil and this will cover uh, I did it big because it'll cover both pages and I don't have to worry too much. And I'm not going to worry how pressed down it is. I just want that. Um, I really got to move. I've been cleaning. So things are like all up myself. Um, so this will cover both pages. That's my point. I'm going to use my stencil spray from Folk Art. I'm going to give it a good shake. I'm shaking it good and I'm just going and laying it in I'm doing a couple shakes of the uh, hot pink and I'm gonna do my, I want to keep it kind of light I'm gonna do my favorite lime green and I'm just gonna try to hit where I didn't spray the pink and it doesn't have to be all the way it doesn't have to be all the way. Okay, so now while that's sitting for a second, I'm going to get a tablet with a piece of paper, you know, any kind of piece of paper you have. And I'm, you can see I've already started. I have so many papers around. And I'm just going to try to lift off any of the excess. Ooh, look at that. And then look, got it started. I can even lay it down and do more. Just press it. I might, I've been thinking about cutting this stencil. I love it, but sometimes it's just very unruly to use. So I don't know. I might cut it into pieces. You know what I mean? Who knows with me? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. I am going to hit that with my heat gun. And you can see just spraying. I mean, it's not a new concept. You know, spraying, but not spraying necessarily on top of another color. But, and these are permanent. I really like these uh, folk art stencil sprays. You can get them at your local uh, Michaels and Hobby Lobby. But uh, use a coupon. Go buy one color, use a coupon to see if you like it. They dry permanent. They're just as good as any of the others. I don't have a uh, issue with them, and I use I've been using them a lot, and playing with them a lot, and seeing where I'm at, and the best way to use them. And I'm just going over the areas to make sure. Okay, and then I'm gonna take. A napkin and just go in and dab and you can use more paper but 
I just want to kind of get the majority of it up because I don't want it to necessarily mix. All right, and that's all that came up, not bad. And now I want to lay some color down, a little bit more color. And the color I'm going with is kind of pink and green and a blue. I want this blue, um, and this actually inspired me. <laughs> Um, it actually inspired me because of the the blue and the, I don't know, I saw it and I was like, you know what, but I don't know about this blue now that I'm here. I don't know if I want this or I want a darker blue, but if I use white paint with it, that will lighten the blue up. So I'm not sure. So here's what I'm going to do first. I want to show you a trick. And for those of you who are afraid of drawing or afraid of your pages or anything this is going to be a trick for you what i'm going to do though is i'm going to so you can see it a little better i'm going to paint this i think i'll just take the green i'm just going to take the martha stewart satin and i can't even read the color anymore that's how much i love it i think it's um what are you i think it's like a lime color but you can see it's just like a mint nothing no big deal and I'm going to put just the littlest bit right there. And I'm doing this more so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, ooh, good gods, I guess we're using those today. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of just a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit there. I'm going to move you in and then I'm going to show you what I think is a good idea. So I'm gonna hit this, gonna dry it real quick. Acrylic paint dries so fast. Okay. So I'm gonna take, what color do I wanna use? Gosh darn it, Cal. Let's do a dark. I'm going to use um, stays on olive green. I could, I, my black is gosh only knows where. And unfortunately, they do not have ink pads at plaid or folk art. You know, folk art is plaid. Um, but I wish they did. But I'm just going to use that and I'm going to use this. Now, here's a suggestion. When you go to look in your collection of stamps, when you go uh, to the craft store and you they have dollar bins clearance sales where you can use a 50 percent off coupon um buy a face whether it be you can get like a um i don't have her here right now but i have like a face where it's like eyes nose and a mouth you know like a almost looks like a old kind of face uh, when i find it i'll do, i'll show you in a video uh or just like this just like a little fox face it doesn't matter it could be a bear it could be a dog it doesn't it doesn't really matter so then go ahead in and push into you want to you want a stamp pad that's going to dry permanent but you want to go ahead and get some ink on that bad boy and just pick i'm going to just pick in the middle there and stamp him okay and then hey when you have your extra papers go stamp off and you know so you don't waste that ink and it just becomes a background for another piece. All right. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to close this up. And then I'm going to hit it with the heat gun, which will make sure that it dries. And won't necessarily mix. Now, I love using... Um, markers and this means you can use whatever markers you have if you have uh sharpie bic uh fabric has style if you want to use crayola if you want to use your watercolor it doesn't matter you choose what you want and i'm going to go in with a just an orangey color and let's see and i'm just going to go in a little bit Maybe color his ears. There we go. We'll color his 
ears and now I kind of dig this, but I think I'm going to go over and do this whole head orange and you can definitely leave it the whatever way you want, color it whatever way you want, use whatever you want. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Oh, he's so cute. And then I'm going to use this darker color, which is sanguine to 188 and let's see now i can go over and trace kind of give it more of you know a look of maybe i drew it or colored it nobody needs to know you're playing in your art journal right who cares and then maybe a little hmm So many colors and this color I keep forgetting to read dark Naples ochre <laughs> didn't know that existed okay so I'm gonna leave the eyes alone but I'm going in almost is like the orange color isn't it La da, 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 da. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I hope you're creating, creating, creating. So just a, like I said, a good idea to use so many different stamps to start for those of you who are nervous, you know, why be nervous and not do anything? Just do it. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint or color his nose with marker. I'm going to do it black and I save that for last, obviously, because, um, you know, in case you go over and I'm going to do his eyes blue. I was going to do green, but I'm not worrying too much. I'm going to put like a white highlight in there later. I'm not going to worry about it. And now I'm just going to give it. Now, let me tell you something. I know I've told you many, many times, take a little water on a paintbrush and dab it off. Dabbing with Angie today. And go in, and if you want to make this more of like a watercolor effect, before you dry it, before it dries, and it will, go in and just go over some of it. Now, this might be too dry for me to, to do right now. And that's like, oh no, that's bleeding in. That's good. See how that's kind of bleeding in? And it'll just give a little more like, I'm going to say striation, but I don't think that's the word I want. And you can see it lifted up here a little bit. So I can go back in and I'll add that on later. Or maybe I want to do that as a brown patch. You know, who knows with me? Who knows with you? All right, let's just hit this bad boy. That's just a little. Okay, so now grab your pen, grab your paints, whatever you want to use. And, um, I'll just use this. I have more. What the heck is that on me? Where did I even get that? Who knows? Okay. So now I'm going to go in and draw. Now you can draw his body going this way. So if you move this over more, maybe you, whatever you could draw his body, maybe it'd be easier if you, you know, drew it that way. I'm not going for realism here. Come on. I'm not known for that. Oh my God. This is a, a five. Can you see why I don't use a five? Gosh, darn it. <sighs> darn it. I think I left my pen out there. I was drawing for my pencil. So I'm going to draw his neck and I'm doing a body like I always do. Of course, you can do a, a body for a fox, but this is kind of my, um, an odd girl kind of thing. If you've ever seen my Etsy, uh, I have a cat there that I did with like a mask. Um, and I love doing that, you know, making them more real. Gosh, darn it, Kelly. I'm, I'm almost cursing and I can't curse because ugh, come on for real, for real, for real. I have no pencils in here. What is wrong with me? I hate that pen. I'll never use it again. Let me use this. I think this is a sketching. So I'll go in, do the body. 
um, I like to do the hands in a bit just so they could be holding something and we'll do a waist, maybe do a skirt. Why not? She could be a pretty, pretty fox. Maybe she has some cleavage too, right? Why not give cleavage? Girl, use that cleavage while you got it because it's going down, down, down. Faster than you want to admit. Okay, so now because I'm using, I'm going to use pink and blue and kind of do some uh, more of the background with those colors. You can go whatever color that you want on here. And I'm going to go with, um, let's use some oil pastels. These are the Cendelier. Let's see what we can do with these band boys, shall we? I'm digging the uh, the blues. I, I love the light and the dark blue. And I'm going to go in with the light first. And I'm going to just kind of scribble it in and go in with my finger. That's what she said. I think that's why all my videos are demonetized. Because I say that's what she said. I think it looks for that. <laughs> demonetizes me. Come on, those of you who have been with me know what I used to be like, what my what my trucker mouth was, right? I don't I don't do that anymore. But what are you gonna do? All right, so you can sing it, just kind of smush it around, smush it around, and I can I love the pattern coming up through it. Okay, and then I can go in with my dark blue and I'll do up here. Just screw a little bit in there. And you can use, I do have a Q-tip or, you know, something like that. If you don't want to use your finger, if you're using it. So. I'm going to do a darker kind of belt here because it's going to look different, a different color on there, you know, compared to the dark up there and then this on top of the light. And then I'm going to go in with the dark and just outline. Nothing fancy. Give it a little rub. Rub a dub dub. Okay. Look how fast. No big deal. She's there. And then I'm going to use this color, which I don't think these have the colors. These are real uh, oil pastels. It's like a diarrhea throat brown, because why not? That's what I'm going to make the color of the skin. You can add fur. You add whatever you want. I was going to do it, like be ironic and do a fur scarf, but isn't that ironic? Don't you think? All right. And then I'm just going to go in and color because you can color on top of whatever you got going on. And I'm just going to smooth this just very lightly. Just like a once over. Look how cute. Go a little over to the line a little bit. Now, if you want, you can go in with your, uh, black or a darker brown and outline. Maybe I'll do that real quick just to show you, which I don't think I need to show you how to outline, but I like doing the hand in the pocket. Okay. And look how cute. Come on. And if this comes out too dark for you, just go and give it a smudge. You can go in and tap a little bit and make it look like a little fur, you know, a little shading. Woo! How you like me now? Not bad. Putting her away. And now let's do, and look, you can go and you can put, you know, a texture on here. You can, you know, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to take some pink and this is folk art tickled pink. And I just like to screw the one off and I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to go in and this is the worst paintbrush ever. So I'm going to go in with a different one and I did not wet it, 
because I'm going to be spraying with some water. So, And I'm dry brushing because I don't necessarily want it to be so opaque. And then what I'm going to do is take some water, get everything that I just painted, just a little squirt, put my brush in there, take a dry rag, paper towel, whatever you have, and kind of give it a nice watercolor effect around. And, you know, you can keep this as dark as you want. It doesn't matter. I want that green coming through on some of it. And you see why you want to use permanent, uh, you know, or the oil pastel in case you get water. You don't have to. You just be a little, you know, a little more careful. I am not careful. I am the opposite of careful. They tell you, don't grab your plate. It's hot. What's the first thing I do? Grab my plate. Yeah, that's me. All right, I'm going to put a little blue because I want to pull some of this. Blue. I'm sorry, that's my dog. He's itchy. Now my brush is wet. I want to get that pink off. And now I'm going in. And you can use watercolor paints if you want. If I wasn't too lazy, I would have. And I just love so much of it coming through. And I don't want to put too much over here because... And I'm not going to spray. This time, I'm going to add texture. Okay, Spyro, we're good. We're good. Because my brush was wet. And don't forget to, keep, you know, you can dab. You don't have to just lay anything down. You can smudge. You can smear. You do whatever you want. just want to add some over here. And if it's too dark, you just wipe it. If you want it to blend in, wipe it around the sides. Not a big deal. We're just going in and playing. This might be a little dark for me here. So you see? And do you see how that spray comes through? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then I think what I want to do. Oh, I could sit here for hours, but I'm not going to bore you. Let's take some. Let's take some white paint. I am just going to smudge this around here. And some of that blue is still wet, so that's good. It's going to kind of smear in a little bit. That's why I love using water with acrylic paint sometimes, because you really do get a little more working time and it you know you get really cool kind of effects oh my gosh my dog i am so sorry so sorry okay. now i would go on and stamp this uh, well, I might need a little bit more in the middle there as I'm looking back. I would stamp this page. I mean, this page is for you to do, you know, really whatever you want. Maybe you want to put a quote. Maybe you want to do, you know, this is just a little mixed media page showing a little bit. I love how this blue is in here. I got to figure out what I'm going to do there. And the same with her, but I'm not, I might want a crown on her because I really like her and I'd like to have a crown. So let's see. Yeah. 
I'm gonna take what color, what color? Let's see, gray. And like I said, when I do my art quilts, I love doing art journal pages first. I do a lot of sketching and all because then I can figure out like what works and what doesn't. Because I will do one of these, uh, you know, and I probably will put a crown on her. Not a big deal. And then I have these little, uh, they're like sunflowers, rhinestones, which I'm going to put one on each eye or no one eye just one eye one eye there and then the darker ones will go come on Kel I didn't dry that and you see it's smeared one two Oh yeah. Oh, some glitter in there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. I got to these away. I get too excited, too excited, too excited. But you see what I'm saying? You can put some glitter in there, some metallic paint, whatever you want, and just have a blast. So I hope this helped you guys. Uh, imagine putting her on an ATC card, um, and, and just doing a background. That's some of the reason I only usually do one page because this way you can put this on um, an ATC card, or, you know what I mean? If you do it on this page, it gives you another page to play or, you know, a background. Like I said, I love this and I'll probably do another page on that, but this is just, you know, a little bit. I would probably put some, maybe a little bit of glitter in the middle or, you know, and just play around with it, but I really love her. So I hope you do too. And I'm not going to write the word breathe up there. So y'all who write me all the time and tell me to quit using the word breathe, it's my word for the year. I have to remind myself to breathe. <laughs> As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. If you're new to my channel and you would like to be, click that subscribe button down below and click the bell next to it to be notified when I upload, which is five to six times a week. <laughs> um, and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this art journal page. I'd really appreciate it. And share me around everywhere. I would appreciate that as well. Progress, not perfection. It's called having a bad week and I still want to create art. So that's what I'm going to do. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.